Bonjour, everyone, you beautiful people. How the hell are you doing today? Today is the holy day. She has finally arrived, Glavier, after an absolute emotional roller coaster. <laughs> She's finally out. Today I want to touch on all of the patch notes that were announced of what's coming in today's patch. So let's just jump into it. But before we do, if you guys enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I post daily to this channel. Also, check me out on Twitch. I stream Monday to Friday starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys enjoy the content here, you definitely gonna like it over there. Lastly, I'm going to be doing a $100 Steam gift card giveaway on my, uh, on my stream when I hit 10k subs on YouTube. Uh, if you guys want to be eligible, be sure to be subscribed to the channel and obviously following my Twitch. And there will be news in the future of when it will be happening. Now let's jump into the video. Alright, so obviously besides Glavier, the first little tidbit of content here is Southern Vern. Southern Vern is going to be a new storyline because we know how much we love to do Phaeton. We love to do Rohendel story. This is another two-hour story for Tier 3 characters at 1340. You're going to have to run this on your entire roster, which means everyone's running this at least six times. The good news is that this actually gives a ton of rewards. You're going to be getting Guardian Stones, Destruction Stones, Leap Stones. Uh, you're going to be getting Graving Books. There isn't, it doesn't seem like there's going to be any content in South Vern besides the story right now because there's no World Boss, there's no Chaos Dungeons, uh, there's no Bridge, there's nothing that comes with South Vern from what it looks like except for the rewards. But on the good news is that the because the, it looks like the content's kind of, kind of being staggered a bit with the release of Volton, uh, you can get all six of your characters through the story now. And then when Volton comes out, you don't have to worry about running like a ton of story all at the same time. Next are the Phaeton Power Pass and the Express Mission event. The Phaeton Power Pass is going to be putting your character uh, past 960. You're going to use this on a Glavier or you can use this on anyone else. This works like the old uh, Power Pass. So what you want to do if, let's say, you are playing Glavier, is you're going to have to log into your one of your characters. It'll be in your mail. You use it on that character. And then you switch to your character selection screen while having your Glavier, whichever class you want to boost, selected, and then it's going to take them to Trixian. If you are planning on using it on your Glavier, what's going to end up happening is you will be taken to Trixian. You're going to have to uh, pick Glavier as your as your advanced class. Then you'll be teleported to do the prologue. You just skip everything, and it'll teleport you to uh, Kalaja. Then you're good. You open up your box. You got 960 gear, and your Glavier adventures begin, or the other class that you pick. You can also save this for let's say destroyer if because i don't know if they're going to give one away for destroyer or future classes uh it does expire june 30th so you can save this for destroyer if you'd like once you get into the game you're going to want to pick the character you want to redeem it on i can't redeem it yet because i have to actually uh boost my my second alt glavier uh through the stronghold but once she's 302 i'm going to be redeeming this on her and what this does is that this gives you a ton of materials for just completing tasks, like I say, completing an Unus task, doing a Chaos Dungeon, just trivial things you're going to be doing regardless on all of your characters. It gives you a ton of rewards. It then also increases your honing chances and reduces the cost of the honing. And that is not all. It makes your hones double. So when you hone once, it's going to give you two levels on that character instead. This event is massive, and this is why I'm saying it's not worth using this on your Fate and Pass Glavier, because you're already so close to Tier 3. I would think that this is the most value to get from doing it on a fresh Tier 1 character, because the progression is actually nuts from what you get from this. And then on top of that, once you complete it, you get this. It's a completion chest. These are the rewards you get for completing the Express Character Pass. You get a thousand gold, a relic rapport selection chest, which is insane. You get three mil silver, a bunch of card packs, but then you get a legendary, a legendary selection card pack. That is insane. Do not use this. For anyone who's new, do not use this. Store this forever, okay? <laughs> Store this until you're you're like awakening 30 letter salvation set. If you don't know what that means, just put it in a bank in a bank slot somewhere. You get legendary poor items, you get some stones, you get a bunch of class engravings, you get some jewelry, you get a bunch of uh, seals. This is actually huge because a, a lot of, let's say, the uh, rarer uh, runes actually come from vendors from your stronghold. And so having a huge influx of this is really, really, really important because once you unlock those vendors, having like a, an influx of like 10k seals is actually very massive for that. And then you're going to be getting some tier 3 honing materials. This express character event is actually insane for new players, for old players. It is super, super, super good. Again, I if you do redeem it on your, on your Glavier, you do not get the old rewards and you are so close to, to, to tier 3 already. I really would say start this on a fresh character because they are going to be flying through the ranks. You probably will be able to just get your character to tier two or to tier three 
just based off of the, the mats you get from the tower. Now, next up, they actually put the Arc Pass in the game. I know there was a lot of controversy around this, but I actually, I personally really like the changes they made to the Arc Pass. Uh, this is going to give a ton of rewards. If we look at it in game, if we look in game, it looks like for the uh, regular version, you're getting a good amount of materials and everything is just doubled. It looks like if you pay for the premium uh, version, which is, I think, about $15. Uh, everything is just doubled, which is pretty nuts. This is a very, very, very generous amount of rewards. This is going to be amazing for your Glaive here. If, let's say, you're low on shards. I mean, we're getting shards very early on into the track. Uh, and then, he obviously, has a premium and super premium version. So the premium version is going to be $15. The super premium version is, looks like it's going to be around, like, I think, $35 USD. Um, I'm kind of happy with this. I don't mind if there's two versions. Again, the super premium track is solely going to be cosmetics. But I think the pre super premium costing $35, opposed to being like, what was it, like 60 or something in Korea, is, uh, I think, very reasonable. And again, you don't have to get it. You can just buy the $15 uh, version that gives all the materials. And I'm very happy with this. This is actually really, really awesome. You get a ton of rewards. We're going to be getting a mount. I've so seen some videos of this mount. Its spacebar is actually very, very, very good. Uh, and this is going to be very good for people who might not have uh, Cerberus because I think this spacebar probably competes with it or even might be a little bit better than Cerberus's spacebar. But the rewards from this are absolutely insane. This is so many honing materials. Oh my god. <laughs> this is insane. Sorry if I'm gushing there a little bit, guys. I'm also seeing this kind of for the first time with you. Uh, so just seeing this stuff is just abs absolutely blowing my mind. <laughs> so another couple important things to note. We're getting another uh, set, obviously, of login rewards. This month's login rewards are absolutely insane again. Some other things to notice here, we're getting uh, a bunch of cube tickets for the 10-day login reward, which is actually really nice from Tier 1 to Tier 3. Uh, we're getting another set of boss rush tickets which is absolutely massive because if anyone's playing you know if you're making a new glavier or maybe you made another class uh you're gonna need greater honor leap stones and this is a very 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 good source of them in tier three as well as even getting a ton of gems uh i mean everybody loves legendary cards this is actually amazing uh 30 fiance very very good and also the aura of resonance is super 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 good uh for anyone who made, might have redeemed it a little bit early like i did last month make sure to leave this on your calendar be up until the login event is about to expire then redeem it and then leave it in your mail and while it's in your mailbox you'll have 30 days to that to redeem it and then the 14 days will actually start tracking from that point so the 14 days will not tick down until it is actually redeemed into your inventory so you can kind of save this for a really really long time for you know if maybe you have a character going into tier three and they got screwed over on their tier set uh or whatever you decide to use this for now the last thing i want to highlight because to me this is probably one of my favorite changes is finally the change is coming uh, to maps and so what you can do now is whenever you finish your chaos gate you're going to join a group like usually you're going to do lo looking for group link your map you're going to join four other or three other people and when one person goes to their map you'll be given an option in your little accept box you just click a little check box and it'll use your map and then everyone else can also decide to do the same thing and you actually get four times the reward for running that map so now you don't have to a worry about getting scammed by somebody else but b you don't have to do four maps one at a time, which takes forever. So this is actually a massive, massive change that I am super happy for because as some of you know who've stopped by the stream, I am sitting on like a million maps. <laughs> so this is going to be a very, very good change. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to finish editing this video and then get into, the, get into this patch. It looks like it's going to be insane. As always, if you guys enjoy the content here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I post daily to this channel. Also, check me out on Twitch. I'm going to be live after this video drops. So jump in if you guys want to hang out and chat. Lastly, join the community Discord. It's filled with a bunch of amazing people. If you're looking for people to hang out with, chat with, play some Lost Ark with, you got to be there, baby. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. Stay tuned for news on the 10K sub giveaway. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Lie, lie.